Kayla. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Kelly from Bill and Kelly's Adventures. Today's sponsor, Rockin' Wood, wanted me to do this video today, how to install the Nail Up Wood. I have also done the Peel and Stick video as well in our camper, if you would like to go watch that. It was the perfect product for an RV since it's Peel and Stick and you didn't have to nail it up. If you hadn't seen that video, go check it out. Most likely, if you're here checking out this video, you may not be already subscribed to our channel and not know who Bill and Kelly are. But if you like adventures, travel, and RV tips and tricks, then go check out our channel and subscribe. We post a video every Friday and then on Tuesdays, I do product reviews and some days I just give you my two cents. I already installed their pro Rockin' Woods product here on my TV wall and I'm gonna show you how I did it their product is awesome. I absolutely love it. This wall was super easy to do. All you need is a nail gun and some kind of saw to cut the product with. A chop saw would actually be better because it would give you straighter cuts where the pieces of wood butt up together. Another thing that I would suggest, if you're putting this on a light colored wall, I would, you don't have to do this, but I would paint it black and you don't have to do like a great coat of it, but because this wood is real wood and it has imperfections and they don't line up perfect, sometimes you might be able to see through to the back. Here, I had a dark wall behind it, but I did have the lighter strips. I utilized black construction paper to hide those areas, but that is something you do not have to do. Just remember that this wood is a natural product and it's old wood, so it may not butt up perfect together and you may see the wall behind it just a little. All right, let's get started and let me show you how to install this wall. This product is 99% recycled wood. So they actually use recycled wood and keep this stuff from going to the landfill and we'll be able to make a beautiful wall. This is a natural wood product and so that being said, there is gonna be imperfections in the wood but that's what makes it rustic and cool. If there is holes in the wood or there's not holes, they do cover those up so that you can't see through from behind. So they do go to that detail to take care of that. Now, when you get this wood and open up your bundle, you're gonna have long pieces and short pieces. Now, to do your square footage, what you need to do is take the length times the width multiply that and that will give you your square footage you need to order from them. I did not have to put these one by twos up to cover this. I could have just started nailing it to this wall, but because this is our TV wall and I wanted to hide the wires, I opted to do the one by twos and then the wires are gonna be hidden in behind there. Because this is a family owned and run business, Customer service has been great. I have absolutely loved working with this family. They're super responsive when you have questions or need to ask anything. For this, for this particular job, you could hammer and nail this up. But for me, I'm using an air compressor with a finish gun with the small little finish nails in them because you don't want to use too big of a nail in this because it would bust the wood and we don't want to bust it. The first step to get everything ready, because if you were doing this on your wall and you already had just a regular wall, there is no prep. You don't have to do anything. But the first thing we want to do is get a level line. Once we get a level line at the bottom, we won't have to do that anymore. But right now, you would like to get like a four foot level and we're going to mark a straight line across the bottom. That will be our starting point. You can just take a four foot level and I'm going to... Ho, ho, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is actually level. Nothing in our house is level, but I built this. So maybe that's why. All right. All right, so I didn't have to mark a line, but what you would do is you would go across your wall 
and find out and you're gonna mark a level line going from one side to the other. That way you know that it's gonna be level. Now, if this was not level and it wasn't, it was gonna have a gap on one side, you could just put like a little shoe mold down here to cover that up. Now, also for this project, just because I'm doing an install video and I didn't want to show doing all this, I built a beam at the top and a beam at the bottom the beam at the top, there was, this used to be a projection screen wall and it had like a big motorized thing and there's big holes up there. So I wanted to cover that up and give a really rustic cool look. So I'm, I took a one by 10 and put it up, put up some little blocks, put up a one by 10 and then put up a one by eight and then distressed it and stained it. And then down here to hide the speaker and the wires that needed to go into the cabinet, I made another little faux beam down here made out of one by eight, a one by six, and then I cut out the front side for the speaker to fit. All right, let me start putting up some wood. You're gonna have an area that you're gonna start laying out your wood because you wanna stagger your seams as you go up. You do not want all the seams in the same place, so you want a really good random look. And also, because this is natural wood, each piece is different and looks different. So you wanna kinda of make sure you do like a really good random look as the wood as well. All right, so now you just take your nail gun and tack it on. And the easiest way I think so that you don't have to actually measure wood each time is I would put your piece up, mark it, and then cut it. That way you don't have to keep measuring. If you're not good with measuring stuff, you can just hold it up there, eyeball it, measure it, cut it. place you put, I would put two nails just to keep it from rocking. Now, I did do two big pieces at the bottom and then I'm going to grab like a small piece and then I'm going to nail it and then maybe do like a big piece and then another small piece. But you're just going to keep alternating your seams because that seam was in the middle there. So you do not want on the next row a seam there for your next row. I'm just gonna rock this wall out. I think I see anything that I think you should know about. I'll stop and talk about it. Now I'm having to make more cuts because I have my one by twos up here and I could have really probably put a lot more of them up. Probably should have put a lot more of them up, but I'm just a eating it off on some of them. Wish I went to see if I had a staple gun like this, and I don't, but I think that would actually be a lot better. Just try to, when you put these finishing nails in, put them in at an angle, mm -hmm. because what I'm learning, if I push it straight in, the wood's so small, it kind of goes through it, and it doesn't hold it as good. It holds good with the finishing nailer, but I really think, I really think that a staple nailer would probably do way better. And look at that piece. Ain't it beautiful? Now, I want to show you a little tip. This piece here had like a little piece kind of knocked off of it just because it is real wood and things are going to happen like that. Any black construction paper, you can just 
cut a little piece out of it, put it behind that little section that's messed up, and then it'll hide it. Great tip. And now if you see that right there, you cannot even tell. If you have a dark wall, it's not gonna be noticeable, but because these were so bright colored, you could see it. So yeah, take you some construction paper and put it behind where there might be a place that you can see through and it'll hide it for you. Another thing too I say every time is dry fit all of them. Make sure that they are good before you nail them up. Oh my gosh. I am in love with how this wall looks. I can't wait to get the TV back up there and see how it all comes together. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to install this wood. And I hope you go check out their website. They even have, if you don't like the gray, they have a whitewash as well. And then you can choose from the Nella or the adhesive. I hope you enjoyed this install. Till next time, like and subscribe if you haven't already.